Hi guys! So in this video I'm going to show how to make a two-part mould of your favourite wargaming figure. So I'm going to use this custom gladiator that I made from Mega Construct parts. But obviously this process will work for any gaming figure you may have. So we start with step one, preparing the piece for the mould. So to make the mould I'm going to use Lego bricks for the surround. And then it's a case of filling it with plasticine so I can embed him in the plasticine so I can make the first part of a two-part mould. As I've already got lots of bases, I'm going to make the mould just of him without the base. So I just need to prise him off. I can now place him into the plasticine and then put more plasticine around him just to fill in any gaps. I also have his feet touching the edge of the surround as once the two part mould is made this is where I'll be pouring the resin in. And then using the modelling tool I can move the plasticine to where it's needed. This part takes quite a lot of time but you really need to get it right now so that the mould will work later. As it is going to be a two part mould I'm just putting holes in this section just so when I do form both parts, they have something to align up with. So I was just about to start getting the mould mixture ready to start pouring in, but then decided because of the shield being so high up, I'd be using a lot of mould material when I've already got lots of spare shields. So it makes sense taking the shield off and just using one that I've already made. And now he's all ready for step two, pouring in the silicone rubber. So I use the scales to equally measure these parts out, as this one works on a ratio of 10 to 1. This also has a slow curing catalyst, and takes about 14 hours to fully cure. And because it is slow curing, this gives any air bubbles more time to release up to the top. And then it needs a good stir so both parts are equally mixed in. Just to mention, since making this video, I now pour in from a greater height so as to get a nice thin stream so there's less chance of bubbles appearing in the mould. But luckily, as this is a slow curing silicone, any air bubbles you can see now disappear over time. And then on to step three, demold and clean. Now it's fully cured, I can remove the Lego pieces and take the mould out. And then it's a case of carefully removing all the plasticine, trying not to disturb the figure. To have made this bit easier, I really should have used some sort of release agent, as then the silicone wouldn't have stuck so much to the plasticine. And that's where it's handy having these fine tools to be able to pull the bits of plasticine out. So that's the one half of the mould made. Now to make the second half. To help the two parts release from each other, I'm just adding a bit of talcum powder onto this one. That way the second part won't stick too much. Then I can rebuild the Lego surround. And then on to step four, pouring in the second part of the silicone mould. Again, mixing the two parts together and then pouring it in on top. And again, leaving it for 12 hours to cure. Now it's ready so I can take the surround off. and then gently easing the two parts away from each other. Now I can remove the figure and tidy up the mould. And 
And then step five, pour in the resin. So I'm using this clear resin, which is mixed on a ratio of two to one, and has a slow cure time of about 14 hours. So it's difficult when mixing up clear resin as to know when it's fully mixed in. So the best bet is to just keep over mixing it just to make sure. So one extra thing that I did do to the mould was to cut in some air release channels. This way when the resin is poured in, any air inside the mould can get pushed up through these channels. And because it takes longer to cure, it means it has more chance for any of the air bubbles that are in there to move to the top. So we leave it for 12 hours to fully cure. And then we can take apart the mould and see how he looks. Some of the liquid did leak out between the two parts, but that's okay, it's only a thin layer. So this is easily cut with a sharp knife. So it's just a case of going around the figure, just removing any excess parts. So he's not come out too bad, but obviously there are still a few areas that did have some trapped air in. So now I can just go around the figure using the milliput, just to fill in any little gaps. So I think he looks pretty cool gold, makes him look a bit more special. And I thought, what's better than having one gold gladiator? And I thought, ah, oh, two, so I made another. And then I mean, I got a bit carried away, and I thought the Predator would look pretty good being gold too. So he's in gold. It almost makes them look like they're a special edition Mega Construct figure. If you have enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button, and leave some comments below, let me know what you thought of this video, and what you might want to see me do in the future. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe, and turn on the notification bell, just so you get informed of when my videos come out. If you are able guys, it'd be great if you could share this on Twitter, your Facebook page or Facebook group, Discord and Reddit, that'd be awesome. Here's another video you can click on to see more of what I do. Okay guys, that's it. Bye for now.